It was December about 1958 or 59. I was born in 54 in a little place called Bamituit. And December, of course, Christmas was coming. And as an American family living in a foreign country, Christmas was a big deal. But my parents said, sorry, we're not going to be able to have a tree this year. We just can't find one in Bamituit. It's too dangerous to go out and find a tree. So we were quite disappointed, but we were going to make the best of it. Somehow, my dad mentioned it to a GI, maybe one of you guys, and uh, mentioned that we weren't going to have a tree, but we were still going to have a great Christmas. And you GIs decided, well, we're going to help this family. So you jumped in your baby Huey helicopter and flew up into the highlands, or mountainous area, outside of Bami Tuit, is the place where we lived, and cut down a Christmas tree, wrapped tied that thing at the bottom of the runners of that helicopter and flew it down to bomb me to it. And I am telling you what, I was about five years old, six years old, when I saw that helicopter with a tree strapped on the bottom of it come over our place and set down right in our front yard. We lived on a mission compound, so we had a huge front yard. And you landed that thing right in our front yard. It was like Santa Claus came to visit us and brought a tree with him. And uh, as you unstrapped that thing and carried it into the house, my mom had hot chocolate and marshmallows and some other stuff uh, for you guys to eat. But it meant a lot to me, not only to make the sentimental part of Christmas meaningful, but I knew how badly my dad wanted to make us as a family happy. And he was going to do his best to make the best Christmas possible. And uh, without that tree, it just felt empty. And I have often equated that to God's, our Heavenly Father's love for us, that He wanted to make Christmas abundantly uh, meaningful to us. And He gave His Son to come and be born in this nasty world, but uh, He came to die for us and provide a way of salvation for us so that we, our sins could be forgiven. And uh, so I've often told that story about how you fulfilled the dreams of my Father to provide a great Christmas for us as a family. And in the same way, our Heavenly Father fulfilled the dreams of our spiritual needs by sending Christ at Christmas. And so, uh, just wanted to share that story because it means a lot to me what you guys did for us there in Vietnam.